Alright, so I was, you know, testing out my misses and stuff. Um, just when the car sits, you know, E85 things, I gotta do a fuel system clean out, but that's a small thing. But I just wanted to show this spark. Watch this. I gotta check my number four injector section. Kind of funny. Let me see. I take it off. Come on. And it doesn't change much. That means that the injector is sticking. Um, ah, I'll just you know clean out. But if you take this out, then you'll see how the idle. See how the idle affects it. That's how number four should be doing it. Uh, but small thing, just nothing I ever ran into before. But I just go out, feed her up a little bit, and then the injector will free up itself, and then I'll put some lube in there. But all right, guys, all right. So, uh, what do you call it? I just went and you know, if I get on her real quick, just beat the shit out of her. Yeah, look, come here, you silly slut. Um, and it, once I get into boost, it raises up the fuel pressure. It helps unseat that injector um, due to it sticking. And then this is what happens. Now, when you take off number four, it should do this. You'll hear the RPMs drop. If I can get this bitch out. Yeah, you see how the idle just changed up? And then we plug it back in. Now we go there. And you hear the idle rise. Um, majority of the time when you're trying to figure out what cylinder is not firing I like to pull out injector plugs because when you pull out your spark plug you just got raw fuel dumping into that cylinder so what happens is it washes off the um, the oil that's supposed to be you know coating your cylinder bore with the uh, um, the rings so what happens is when you have no oil you're just doing metal on metal friction that's what wears down cylinder bores faster. That's what scratches, uh, you know, your cylinder walls, and that's why lubrication um, for your uh, what is it? Uh, oil lubrication is so crucial, um, you know, for your what do you call it? Your cylinder walls. Um, that's why running too rich, you wash your cylinders, and that's the same, you know, effect. Um, yeah, I don't know really what else, but that's what I was just, you know. Simply, I'll restate it since you may have not heard it over the exhaust or I mean the uh, engine. But when checking for a dead cylinder, I like to pull injector plugs. Um, so when you do pull the injector plug, you're killing the fuel, not the spark, and you're not dumping fuel. Now, if you take, let's say, you know, you unplug the uh, the spark plug, you just got that fuel injector still shooting fuel into that cylinder. So when it shoots fuel into that cylinder, it washes the cylinder walls. You got metal on metal friction with the, you know, rings and bores. And plus your oil gets, uh, you know, um, it thins out with the gas. So that's why a lot of you guys, when you're doing tuning or, you know, just anything and the car's running rich, change your oil. You'll save yourself a big ass headache because once you spin a, a rod bearing or a main bearing, um, you're going to be hating yourself. Um, of course, the second thing also is, you know, with the cylinder bore, especially if you have a new motor and you're running rich, you know, doing tuning or something, um, you're going to mess up with the cross hatching. You're not going to let the ring seat well. And, you know, there's, you know, a lot of, you know, different things. So that's why, you know, oils are really, really crucial um, when you're selecting the correct weight um, and as well as making sure that you're not running, um, you know, oil that's been mixed with uh with oil, with gas so it thins out and then you know that's when you start having uh, issues arising but you know i'm just rambling on uh, i don't know i kind of yeah you know, i haven't driven her for about a week or so and so uh number four cylinder you know injector was sticking I and mean, i tend to have this issue uh once we come to the summer months so that's why a lot of guys they'll put in a tank of 93 and then just clean out the system and really what the 93 is doing is lubricating um so if you 
use your, you know, I use Marvel's Mystery Oil along with the Lucas Ethanol Fuel Cleaner. Um, but just because of summer months, you know, it's higher concentration E85. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, some people hate it. I'm like, I don't really care because, um, you know, that's what keeps the motors alive. Uh, having a nice good fuel, especially when you're paying, you know, like 243 a gallon right now. And 93s, probably somewhere around 330. I don't know. I know premium over here. I mean, uh, what do you call it? Regular is about two. I think I filled up the other day. It was like 285. So, yeah, just with that said, that's just my little, you know, kind of give you little tips or whatever. Um, but for the most part, just uh, whenever you're missing with cars, take your time. Don't do any stupid. Don't rush and don't force anything. And just think it through and you should have, you know, good success. Remember, everything that you want to do to a car or whatever is, you know, first thing is, is reading. So once you do that and just learn... You know, some people learn by experience, some people learn by books. Um, it should be both, but I believe in concept first, then um, application later. But regardless of what, have fun, do what you're doing, and God bless. <laughs> All right, guys, later.